Hey, this is your boy Jordan Collector 101. Coming back with you another review. Um, today I'm basically going through with the Stealth 10s today. I picked them up this morning. I had to work this morning. I got home and crashed. I was up all night and like basically trying to go get these shoes. And I was tired when I got to work. And I got home and went right to bed. But um, I'm going to get into these Stealth 10s today. Um, the first thing is... I saw on people's Chicago videos and stuff like that that people were saying they have fake kicks because they don't have the hang tags. I have to order mine in because I get all my stuff off that. It's all authentic. <coughs> but the stores in Kansas City, I guess, do not do hang tags. Like, just don't get them. Um, Foot Action, Foot Locker, our, it's our House of Hoops, um, Champs. And finish line, they just don't get the hang tags. And just to show you, mono authentic foot action. Black stealth. See if I can find the date on there. Twenty four, seven fifty seven a.m. at the Oak Park Mall, Oak Park Campus. I'm not lying; they're authentic. I don't know why we don't get the hand tags, but time to move on. Get into the shit. At first, I wasn't too. First, I want to ask: Why is there so much hype this year in these sneakers? Last year, I could have picked up something like the Stealth Ten, something that's not that hot, any time of the day. Well, not really in time that. I would just have to get there, like, around the time the store closed. I mean, I mean, sorry, around the time the store opened to pick them up. Now, like, every single shoe that comes out, there's, like, some line or something that just, like, there's always some ridiculous line every week for everything. Now, I had to get here at 6 o'clock in the morning for these. Why? People... I know people don't like the term hype beast, but that's what people are. If you don't have shoes from before the year 2011, you're not about it. Unless you're super young, that could be your only excuse. If you're like 20 in my age and you don't have shoes from 2010, 2009, to like you, you're not about it. Now, let's get into it. Now, when I went to go get these shoes... I wasn't sure how hot they were going to be, but I be cool on me over time. I got home because I don't ever open up my box in, in the um, mall because that's how you get snuck by people. I just want to hurry up. I always go out to my car, and then as soon as I sat down in my car, that's when I looked at them to see what they look like. Stuff thins. Um, I they grew on me. I mean, they look better, and the craftsmanship on these is great, fantastic. Kudos to Jordan. He doesn't have that many shoes with this kind of quality anymore. Like this, this shoe is perfect. I I haven't gotten two shoes with this level of like perfect quality, and I don't even know how long. Like these two pairs of these. These pair of shoes are perfect. Um, I I like them a lot. Um, I mean, they're not better than my shadows from the package or anything, but these are just cool. The white and the white and gray bottom, I think it's sick. Like, I just like these a lot. Um, the nice, they're soft, you know. I just think they're they're a cool shoe. Um, and this is going to be something you can wear. I mean, this is something you're going to be able to find online. You know, this is something you can pull out. This isn't like your Concords. You don't have to pay six, seven hundred dollars for it. You probably want to pay if you want to get another pair of these. Probably two twenty, around there. Like the reseller prices for these aren't going to be that high. These are still cool. Um, they grew on me. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Because no matter what, if it's a retro Jordan, I'm getting it. I'm getting the shoe regardless. If it's a retro Jordan, it's coming. It's going on my feet. Whether 
he wore it or not. So that's how some people look at it. You know, Jordan didn't wear it. It's sort of dark in there, but uh, but some people look at it like, you know, Jordan didn't wear it. I can't wear it. That's not the way I look at it at all. Every single retro Jordan, no matter what color, style, and if I don't even like it that much, it's coming with me. I've always worn Jordans before I got into phone posits and new balances and everything else. I was wearing Jordans, and that's what I'm going to be wearing first. And I'm not going to lose my type of track of my J's. J's is the basics. J's is what I like, and J's is what I will wear until I will be buried in Jordans. So, you know, that's basically it for this review. These kicks, these are definitely, if you guys did not get these this morning, these are definitely go out and get, period. All black, white bottom. You can't go wrong. I mean, there's, you can wear it with practically anything. So, you heard it here first. Go get these. All right.